floodplains by the Governor's Office of Planning and Budget. A floodplain is a low-lying area adjacent to a river that is made up primarily of river sediment and is subject to flooding. Some of the most desirable agricultural lands in the United States are in the floodplain. Development often occurs in the floodplain because of the rich, fertile soils that occur there. For instance, watch how development has occurred in the areas adjacent to the Santa Clara River from the early 1990s to 2006. As the population in floodplains has increased, so has the damage caused by flooding. Now looking at this area closer, we can see how disastrous flooding events can be. These houses were completely washed out by the 2005 flooding events as the Santa Clara River completely changed its course during the 2005 flood. Soil erosion is also a prevalent problem in this developed floodplain. During the Santa Clara flood events of 2005, of the 28 homes that were destroyed, only two were in the 100-year floodplain but nearly all of them were within the erosion hazard zone. Even areas that have been historically dry can fill rapidly. Watch how Lake Quichapa, west of Cedar City, changes from being completely dry in 2004 to becoming a lake in 2006, catching people by surprise. Every year, billions of dollars are spent across the United States to clean up damage caused by flooding. Damage can range from water inundating a basement to the complete loss of a structure. Ecological problems are also associated with flooding. Sewers and septic systems can rupture or overflow during a flood event, causing contamination of lakes, streams, and groundwater. Proper planning can help communities avoid the damage, devastation, and costs associated with flooding. A comprehensive plan that relates the use of the land to the land's hazards is important. Hazardous areas such as floodplains may be reserved as parks, greenways, or other open spaces. Land use ordinances give teeth to a land use plan and can be used to restrict development in floodplains. 